Ladies and gentlemen, a new version of Minecraft has been released. This is Minecraft Java Edition 1.14.2, the second minor release in the 1.14 series, released with a number of crucial bug fixes. My name is Sliced Lime, I'm here to guide you through the changes in this version compared to the previous full release, Minecraft 1.14.1. Let's start with some world-related fixes. Light sources and light calculations would sometimes not work fully in some chunks, especially on certain computers and in certain worlds. That has been fixed in this version, so if you have dark areas in your world even though you have torches around, then that will be fixed when you open them in this version. And that also means that the first time you load any area of your world in this version, the lighting will be recalculated, so you might see a little bit of lag the first time you open your world or the first time you visit a certain place in this version. If you want to avoid that, you can upgrade the entire world at once by going into the Edit World screen, clicking Optimize World, and checking the Erase Cache Data box. If you run a multiplayer server, you can do the same thing by starting the server with dash dash force upgrade dash dash erase cache. You can find that exact command in the video description. A crucial fix for a problem where animals, villagers, item frames, armor stands and all kinds of other entities would randomly disappear has been included in this version. If you've had problems with things disappearing, that should be fixed now, and if you do have a backup I suggest restore it to not lose all of your items. Chunk loading as well is much faster and that includes loading into a world to begin with and also the world loading when you move around, especially when moving around in already generated terrain. In addition to this, some more stability and performance fixes, including crash fixes, fixes for a major FPS drop that could occur if you ran a mob farm for a long time, and a fix for a problem where the region files in Minecraft save the files on disk were not properly closed. That could lead to chunks appearing in weird places or even disappearing and getting regenerated altogether. Let's talk about mob fixes. Mobs now spawn on soul sand again. And parrots can now spawn on the grass blocks not only when there's grass sticking out of the ground. That should mean that parrots can spawn in more places inside of jungles. Some raid changes as well, raider spawning has been modified so they can only ever spawn in fully loaded chunks which should fix some glitches where raids would go on forever. The search radius for a bell when starting a raid is now 64 blocks up from 48. When you hit a villager, the villager's iron golem will now get angry once again and trader llamas will no longer immediately disappear when they are bred or spawned with a spawn egg. The wither also no longer attacks undead mobs. Other gameplay changes. In the previous minor release, redstone didn't work properly and specific observers didn't update properly. A bug has been fixed where entities and the players would clip through blocks after traveling through an end gateway into previously unloaded terrain. And that also goes for teleporting long distances on a multiplayer server that would cause you to clip into the ground. And if you swam in a confined space, especially if your head was against a ceiling, then you could switch out of swimming mode into crouching mode, and sometimes it was hard to get back into swimming mode. A problem with the villager trades menu meant that you could get items in a stack that was higher than the maximum stacking amount for that item. And when destroyed during the Ender Dragon respawn process, there could be ghost and crystals that stayed behind. Constructing and placing a beacon now gives the advancement properly again, and the beacon beam now has the correct color even if the colored glass isn't directly on top of the beacon. In creative mode, if you place a named shulker box and then break it again, it will now get its correct name. And if you break an empty shulker box in creative mode, it will no longer drop as an item. Putting an enchanted book without a custom name into a grindstone used to give you a book called Enchanted Book that wasn't enchanted. That will now just become a normal unenchanted book. And flaming arrows can no longer light waterlogged campfires. Visual change in this version, Hebrew letters were not assigned to the correct textures, they are in this version. And on the sound side of things, villagers used to play the trade sound multiple times overlapping if you shift clicked an item in a trade. That has been fixed and they now also properly play pickup sounds when they pick up an item and planting sounds when they plant crops. There's also a problem where guardian zapping noises would sometimes get looped. That's fixed in this version as well. On the tech side of things, you can now see the server side chunk information on the debug screen and cut sandstone slabs are now by default a part of the slabs block tag. 
As usual, if you want to play this version, just make sure that you have the latest release configuration selected in your Minecraft launcher. If you don't see a drop down at all in the play button, then all you need to do is hit play to download and play this version of Minecraft, version 1.14.2. And that was all for me for this time. I hope you found this update video useful, and if you did, please help me out in return, leave a like, and share it with your friends. If you want to stay up to date with all the latest Minecraft news, then please subscribe to my channel, where I do update videos for every new release, pre-release, or snapshot of Minecraft. My name is Sliced Lime, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.